Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And take a look at this. This is the Disk Station DS923 Plus. This offers NVMe caching. It can expand up to nine drives. We're going to take a look at that for sure. This is a four bay NAS. All right has the ability to do 10 gigabit ethernet as an optional so we're going to do an unboxing of this and we're going to be installing four one terabyte ssds in raid 5 giving it three terabytes of storage this is for a client so let's do an unboxing of this i'm very excited right, so here's the drive itself Uh, really? Ooh. Pretty. All right, so it has the screw holes for two and a half inch, as well as obviously three and a half inch. Uh, it has, uh, looks like, yeah, it looks like the three and a half inch drives just pop right in, and then there's screw holes for the two and a half inch. And they're plastic, by the way. Relatively simple. The front has power, LED lights for status, and for the four drives. USB 3.0 in the front, or similar, or you know, it's gotta be at least 3.0 or better. It's got two nicks on the back. It's got external SATA. Another USB port on the back, and then there's a port, a little door, with screws. We're going to have to see what the heck that is. I'm, ass I'm assuming, going to assume, that that is probably the 10 gigabit Ethernet. So, uh, let's see. Oh, there's also slots on the bottom. Okay, this is for the enemy cache. So we have doors on the bottom here to install drives for NMV NVMe drives for caching. Now that actually increases the performance, and that's pretty sick. It can do two of them. Wow, that is pretty snazzy. So this is a very, very expensive NAS, okay? This is $600 disk list and offers a lots of capabilities for upgrade. Um, the extended SATA would be for adding additional drives externally to expand this drive. Uh, I think the, the, this is going to be a very powerful system and uh, we're looking extremely forward to the performance of it. But then again, remember, it has nothing to do with, even though we're putting solid state drives in here, it's only as fast as the ethernet connection it's connected to. So that's pretty much it. There's nothing more to do than that. So I'm going to unscrew the back of this thing. I'm going to take pictures, show you what this bad boy is. But this looks like a really nice NAS. And this is going to be used for, uh, for a business. And uh, I'll have, obviously I'll have a link in the description below. DS923 Plus. We're going to do some benchmarking of it and, and see how easy it is to install. Um, let's see, so let's take a look at the boxes that this came with. So here's the regular power cable. Okay, here's the brick, the power brick, which is it's 12 volts at 8.33 amps. So it's a 100 watt power supply. Comes with two Ethernet cables and screws for the two and a half inch drive. And then the plastic keys to lock this. So you don't have to, so you, you want to make sure that nobody can get in here. Let's see if I can get this to go in. There we go. Locks it so you can't open it up. So that's great. And that's it. There's nothing else in this box. And then the quick installation guide. That's it. So let's, uh, let's do some installation of the drives and see how this thing does. So you need to go to find.synology.com to actually find your NAS as soon as you plug it in. 
so silly easy. It's not even funny. As you can see, it found the Synology. Uh, we're going to connect to it. And obviously, I'm going to agree to the EULA. And we're going to continue. We'll see where this goes. All right, so set up your Synology DS923 Plus now. Install. So we actually we can do device information. Let's see what it shows. Same information that we just saw. It's not installed. So when it hits install, automatically download the latest ver version of the Synology website. So we're going to do that. I would thought that would say firmware. But we're going to do it automatically because we are connected to the internet. All data will be deleted. There's nothing on this. It's brand new drives. Four one terabyte drives. We're going to set up for RAID 5. But we're going to go through that right now. And we'll let it do its thing. All right. So it's going to restart it. And that's great how it changes the color. Interesting. So it's going to reboot it in 10 minutes. So we're going to fast forward this, obviously. All right, so it's launching built-in packages. By the way, it didn't take 10 minutes, maybe two. All right, so let's start. So now it's asking for the device name, which I'm not going to show you. And then we're going to continue after this part here. Okay, now we're going to install, automatically install important DSM and package updates only, which is recommended. I'm not going to create a Synology account. Not interested in that. I'm skipping anyway. Because I'm, I'm afraid of having an account that they're going to be monitoring and looking at the data that's on the drive. Only reason why I'm not doing that. Because this is not for personal use. This is for a business. All right. So now create storage pool and volume. So now we're going to set up the drives and do RAID. I'm hoping. Let's see. RAID type. So we're going to do RAID 5. We have four drives, one for tolerance. So we're going to select them all. Next. Please note the following recording the selected drives, not listed. Great. Continue. Okay, we're going to leave it as it is here. Apply. Yep, all data will be destroyed. We understand. So the drives I am using are not in the recommended drive. All right, cool. Healthy. We are rocking and rolling. Check this out. That is awesome. Alrighty, so now we're healthy, the CPU usage, uh, the RAM, and the total speed, and the, we have only hooked up one LAN at this moment. If we wanted more performance and speed, we'll hook up two, which we will probably do, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now we just have to set up, um, uh, what you might call a set of folders and users and stuff like that, and we're good to go. But that's not for this version, for this video. Just more or less setting it up and getting ready to rock and roll in, in that instance. So if you wanted to do that, we want to create a volume, I believe. Actually, no. We want to create a storage volume. All right, so it's optimizing. So we're not, it's not ready to be, um, be used at the moment. So after it's done, then we'll be able to set it up. Pretty cool. All right, guys. 
That's it for the installation.